Can you get both the two Mega Pops achievement and the No Harvest achievement in a single game? Today we're going to be doing this with the Tech Terror before it gets a massive price nerf in update 42. Keep our engineer on strong and then hopefully we'll be able to get through the round. Switch to first when all of the little reds here are popped so that the engineer can follow down here rather than always trying to pop the strongest most because the dark monkey won't be able to handle blues on its own. And we should get a ninja on the field and this is precisely why. With three towers down, green balloons are non-issue, but we still got yellow balloons, grr, and pink balloons to handle with. And the rest as well, don't forget about the rest. Oh gosh, round 12, honestly? Put you on first when the last yellow has been damaged. No, we're gonna have to do it now. There we go, that's better, and I forgot to put that down. Lovely. Let's slow down the balloons, or at least a few of them, with a glue gun at the very front here with some bigger globs so that we're not just sticking to just one of them. And I hope that this is going to help us out in round 15 because of the sheer fact that pink balloons exist. So how are we going to fail in this round? It's going to be... Oh, gosh. Come on, Pat. Slap the big ones. Slap the big... No! Oh, oh, yes, we got... Oh my god, our first try on round 15! <laughs> that never happens on these videos! Round 10 and round 18 are kind of like the same round, really. But except with um, a higher grade of balloons. I'm just glad there isn't one with yellow balloons solely. Otherwise, we would never be able to get through that round. Rallying rule when the pink balloons are present. We're going to try as much as we can to hold off, but we're going to have a few issues here. Yeah, it's always that one red balloon for some odd reason. Rallying rule. Okay, putting them all on first seems to have done the trick rather than strong, which is good. And another red balloon. <laughs> it's always one red balloon, isn't it? But Pat on strong. Yeah, that does the trick. Enable Pat to be on strong, and then the rest should be history. Hopefully. Come on, Pat, do your work. No, even if that was successful, um, there's still this red balloon issue. What? Today it's red balloons, not yellow balloons, which are the problem. I refuse to upgrade, and that somehow was the round. And since round 24 is basically free, we can place our super monkey down on the next round. Excellent. So, Gentleman Gadget Geraldo is my new favorite fiend of Update 42. If he's not your new favorite fiend of Update 42, then I don't know what you're doing. I'm just kidding. You can like any aspect of a new update. Although, seeing with the fact that the Tech Tower is going to get a massive price nerf is really disheartening because it is quite a powerful tower for... What is relatively a cheap price, honestly, with its ability just instantly nuking everything around it that is not a, um, a zero MG or above. Okay, let's on this round. We've got Pat for this occasion. And next up, I think we're going to get some cleansing foam. And because the Super Monkey can reach all the way over here once we get epic range, I think we can utilize both the glue gunner and the pin with foam in order to slow down balloons a lot. Use the foam to pop the leads, and the Super Monkey will be able to handle the rest. Not only does Middle Path increase range, but it also increases the pierce of the projectiles in which the Super Monkey throws out. So that is definitely a bonus in and of itself as well, because from the looks of it, it just looks like range increase, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Yeah, Monkey Village down, because I do want that camo detection on our Super Monkey here as soon as possible. We're going to go with Plasma Blast rather than Ultra Vision. Like, I know Ultra Vision will give us a little bit more uh, range, but I prefer damage. And weirdly enough, we're going to get MIV before we actually go up Laser Blast and Plasma Blast and all that jazz. Just solely because of the fact that I do want to be able to pop all kind of balloons and purple balloons are still a bit of a fawn in this stage of a game. The update is always in two hours time, said Rohan probably. Here we go, we've got MIB up and running, which means now we're going to pursue laser blasts. Then plasma blasts, which is infinitely better than laser blasts, because laser blasts can't really pop lead balloons. But Plasma Blast can. Plasma is definitely the superior version than Energy. Because Energy sucks. Yes, it can pop frozen balloons by default. Who cares if you can't pop two of the most 
common types of barriers in the entire game being purples and reds. And no, I am not making it up, because frozen balloons can only happen because of a tower you place down. They don't come frozen by default, okay? Oh yes, there's some uh, jungle drums for assurance case. More attack speed is always welcome. Nobody is going to say no to more attack speed. And if you do, then you're missing out on a lot of potential pops. We're going to get ourselves for Robo Monkey very soon, and it would be wise to go for Tech Terror next, but unfortunately we're going to encounter some round 63 issues if we don't have some more utility put onto the field. Okay, first we're going to get pinned so that any balloons which are caught with the foam here will slow down. It doesn't provide pops, which is lovely, unless your name is lead. There's just enough room here for a glue gunner here. This is going to be a middle path glue gunner. This is going to be a bottom path glue gunner. Well, because it's near the front of a track, that kind of makes sense. What do you think? Unlike other two Mega Pops games, we're going to get overclocked quite late into the game, which is really surprising because you usually get overclocked as one of your first means of support. But we just can't afford it by the time we... Uh, really needed to come into play so gonna get tech terror first but before tech terror we're gonna get glue strike which will really help out on round 63 by the way and also as well round 76 round 78 rounds with lots of hordes of balloons on it will both slow them down and enable them to receive more damage upon the ability's usage what's going to happen to this bfb when it meets the plasma robo monkey well, it's going to go down. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Honestly, having the uh, strongest stimulant alchemist here is almost meanless. Since you, as you can see, you can't really see the acidic mixture dip on it at all. And the strongest stimulant barely ever, ever lasts because of the fact that, well, uh, this thing fires super duper fast. So that's the first lot of ceramic. The second one we're going to be using hat on. To increase our chance of getting through it and then the rest of them we're just going to use the glue strike on they're not going to stand a chance honestly and it gives us time to get our abilities back glue strike rallying roar very good provided a plus three attack power to everything around it everything around it as in like well everything around pat and uh, plus to everything else, which is not by pack. Oh, that was really close. Another thing I'm also looking forward to is the new map, Castle Revenge, because it's a homage to a Balloons Tower Defense 5 map, which <laughs> had that really insidious challenge on it where for every single round is super hard, but the payoff of that particular map is that every tower you place down gets a upgrade for free. So you could go from tier 3 to tier 4, by like round three or four depending on the monkey it, sorry but the tower itself and uh, <laughs> yeah i'm sure a lot of players who played a lot of balloons town event five had some fond memories of that particular mission okay now we've got tank terror next mission is going to be overclock and then call to arms or moab glue you know what i think moab glue just because it's cheaper one thing I do want to test is to see how, uh, if we can actually reach the BFBs from here. No, we can't reach it from here, but can we reach the ZMGs from here with our Tech Terror ability? I'm recording this video quite early on in the day in comparison to the afternoon or evening, just because I don't know when Update 42 is going to drop, because the Elite Lich scenario on Off the Coast, which I accidentally named as Off the Coast, <laughs> um, only lasts for two days, so I'm like... Uh, is it when it's going to end or are we just going to be given a sudden drop when it comes to its update? Because Ninja Kiwi can be quite unpredictable when it comes to the timing of their update drops. It feels like 9 times out of 10 it comes out on a Wednesday, which I dislike a lot because I always work on a Wednesday. And it's my busiest day of the week when it comes to work. It's like, do you always have to release it on a Wednesday? There are other days in the week, not just Wednesday. What makes Wednesday so special to you, Ninja Kiwi? Oh dear, me trying to understand Ninja Kiwi. A fruitless task. Sorry, I meant to say a futile task. Round 78. What can we do on this round? Well, we can stick to all of these ceramics so that they don't travel as far and they get more damage from all of our attacks. 
Dude, that's pretty cool. And we got overclock now. Excellent. So now we can apply to the tech tower. Finally. Yeah, getting overclock around 78 for a team makeup pop scenario is unheard of. You always get it much, much earlier. People sleep on overclock. Yes, it's expensive. And I forgot to use glue strike there. You know what? We're going to redo the round because I was talking. Now, that's much better timing because I actually remember to do that this time around. Round 79. Usually, the stop of a lot of runs because of the regrow aspect of all of these rainbow balloons. Oh, dear. Have you ever seen a rainbow balloon in the shape of a heart? Does it give you flashbacks towards playing this game? <laughs> Normal people. Oh, look at that cute heart rainbow balloon. Balloon Sour Defense 6 players. Are you serious? That thing's scary. Okay, that's round 79 sorted. Now, round 80. Can we reach the ZOMG from here? That is the question that I want answered. And... Hmm, I want to try that again. Right center? Yes, it can reach it. There's only a very small window, though, which we can reach the ZMG with the Tech Terror ability. But if that will help. Definitely. Absolutely. But knowing that means we can definitely reach the bad from here. I think it's time to get some uh, Moab glue with glue splatter. We need to slow down these, these Moab class balloons now that they are... The sheer majority of what we will encounter from here on out. And that seems to do the trick because the balloons are really slowing right down here. Let's get ourselves a balloon sabo here since we got this ninja monkey placed down. And honestly, having that little bit of slowdown is going to be really handy going forward. Are you a morning coffee sort of person or morning tea person or morning caffeine person? Or can you get throughout the day without the additional need of energy for that short brief period of time in order to help you actually get through the morning. Me, I definitely need it. I feel like over the years, I'm always more tired in the morning without a morning coffee or a morning tea. Although I never really drink tea, to be honest. I'm, I'm a predominantly a coffee person, but I do get the benefits of having tea. There's lots of different kinds of tea out there, and they can provide a lot of different uh, medicinal benefits for you. So... Whenever you have like a cold or you're suffering from some kind of other illnesses, then sometimes tea can be there to be a incredibly beneficial thing for you. It all helps with emotions as well. Is that candles I'm thinking of? Like they, those help with emotions. Now I'm not too sure. I'm questioning myself again. Can we reach it from here? Can we try a Again, okay, you got it's such a small window that you can only really affect one or two ZMGs at the very most there. Depending on how close we are to the blast radius of potato ability. Respect my ability, I mean authority. If you know that reference and um you watch one of the most saddest shows in human history to be honest, but it does get people laughing to be honest. Okay, we've got call to arms now, which means not only can we increase our attack rate using the Alchemist, which is like the tech terror ability for the ZMGs over here, a very, very, very small window. How about any of them? I think we managed to affect two of them because that was 5,000 damage added. So yeah, it probably isn't such a small window. I'm just timing my abilities not very well, which is something that I can accept. And there goes before ZMGs up around. <laughs> Just combine everything and easy peasy ZMG go down Z. 1,000 up to 4,000 up to 6, well, definitely over 6,000. And then there's this as well. So like 6,500 seals, not bad at all. Could be definitely a lot worse here. And there goes round 88, which leaves us round 89. Oh gosh, with these 4 to I didn't be it with me, Those are dangerous fiends, honestly. Round 92 is such a pest because of the amount of them. Round 90. I believe we can just solve this round with, with Balloon Sabo and the, uh, the wonderful glue strike ability. And just leaves us with our abilities to uh, cool down because of these glued leads. They do have some benefits after all, having a slow balloon on screen. Oh no, a huge group of BFBs. What are we going to do about it? Um, 
something. Although sometimes using all your abilities too quickly with this limited funnel down here can be a bit dangerous. And also because of that we got these. I should have I should have at least saved my balloon sabo for this round for goodness sake just to slow him down enough. Although we'll go for the strike. Not too bad. Yeah, this is definitely an invaluable member of the group. Our Moab glue glue gunner. Saying glue gunner twice. Moab glue glue gunner. Saying glue twice, honestly. I'm so hilarious. Round 93 DDTs along with some fortified VFBs. And gosh, this just makes it so easy, honestly. I love it. With the rest of our money, we're going to invest it in a homeland defense. And possibly we'll end the screw off the bat if we have the money to do so. Just simply because we get even more attack speed. Come on, Pat. Unleash your roar for us to benefit from. Okay, we've got these UMGs left. We could use the Tetera actually to neutralize some of these. And I say some, I mean almost all of them. And there goes round 94. Uh, there's a fair few more steals than I would like to have. But it's not the end of the world by no means at all. So our engineer monkey is going to get some steals here because of the, um, the foam on the leads. Okay. What are we going to do about this round here? We've got a few threats here, but I don't want to use the abilities too soon. Otherwise, we're going to run out of steam. But I think we're good here, actually. We're, yeah, we're very good. That's the bulk of the DTs taken care of. <laughs> oh, dearie me, Tech Terror. You are quite the powerful tower to say the least. And I probably wonder why that is the reason why Ninja Q is designed to nerf the price of it. Also heard that they're also decreasing the price of the anti-balloon as well. And no, I'm not going the anti-balloon, no others. <laughs> like the save up for it is just a little much, don't you think? There goes round 96. Round 97 gives us plenty of time for our abilities to recharge. Let's see, what about these? Can we... Okay, we affected... I think we managed to affect both of them. I'm not quite too sure, actually. So, glue strike for overclock, actually. Uh, let's just use everything, actually. We need all that damage output, honestly. And there goes the first one. What about the second one? You know what? We'll just wipe them all out. And homeland defense time. <laughs> Excellent. We definitely need it for the TXP bonuses. Uh, if only we had the balloon sabber, though, that's the thing. You know what? Never mind. We'll use Browning Roar first and the glue. And then Sabo. Once we get to the ZMGs. Okay, we're just going to use Homeland Defense now. Probably use it a bit sooner than I would like to, but we can just wipe out the rest using a Tech Terror. Okay, we've wiped out a lot of them with the Tech Terror. We've got some of them left, which is ideal, actually, so that we can get our abilities back. Uh, it's just the amount of steals here. That's the problem. We're well, actually even getting through the round. And there we go. Round 99. What about these DDTs? Fortified DDTs. I wish I had a Sabo ready for this round. But guess what? I'm a dumbass. Oh, my. Actually, let's get some relentless glue. That's going to help us out when it comes to stunning DDTs. Let's try this again. Homeland defense. At the start of the round, actually. That will be brilliant. Yep. Yeah. Homeland defense was the solution. <laughs> the solution, am I right? Or am I right? Oh, gosh. I'm so funny. This is our fight, Pat. Okay, so. Let's strike that and uh, affect you. Yeah, you got definitely got a bigger hit detection box, honestly. Which is really helpful in these scenarios. Okay, it's just going to unleash all of that now. Just unleash all of it. I don't know what to upgrade this to, so I'm just going to put that on it for some clear-up action. Come on, Homeland Defense. Come on, Homeland Defense. Come on, Homeland Defense. Come on, Homeland Defense. Get to work, Homeland Defense. I need you for the defense. You're in the name. Def oh, get that. And yeah, a little bit of delay on my balloon sabo timing there, but no worries. Can we use the white beast? We could off. I just need to leave it for a tiny bit longer for that.
Okay, we're at two million and it just wipe them out. <laughs> so yeah, folks, that is Tech Terror. No harvest, two mega pops. Quite an achievement in and of itself, honestly. Always like getting two very difficult to do challenges simultaneously is just a thrill in and of itself. Activator. <laughs> I only just realized we cheated. We've got two tech terrors on the screen here. <laughs> three, actually. <laughs> One, two, three. Can you see the robo energy exuding from this menace? Yes, I'll be to kill you. Just like Ninja Kiri is going to kill the price of this particular balloon. I mean, tower. Oh, gosh. The cost of. Uh, the cost of more balloons being sacrificed for money. Can you believe it that the popping of balloons actually contributes towards your finances? Isn't that isn't that just so reflective of the real world in some way, shape, or form? Because some people refuse to move on from the past. Thank you so much for watching. Let's have a look at steel. So the alchemist has got 746. The balloon sabo 1500 and obviously the two biggest stealers are going to be pat and the engineer monkey here thanks to the deconstruction trait i wish you can just switch right off whenever you want to but i guess this is not the real world and i don't know why but i just thought while we've got the money we'll just put it into a juggernaut or something put some ceramic clear up if we needed it to but i guess we didn't and we let us glue I feel like if we didn't have uh, Homeland Defense active around Ice Nine, Relentless Glue would have made a difference because of stunning DDTs. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comment sections below. And please subscribe if you have not done so already. That would be greatly appreciated. And folks, remember to play Elite Lich while you can. While you can on off the coast. Because you're going to get your coat off if you did not. I don't know why I said that. I, uh, Me and my life. If you want to help me out as well even further. Then please use my creator support code if you are able to do so in the store. That would be greatly appreciated. Only we ever really uh, show at the end of the video. Because there are lots of people out there that like to show all their promotions at the beginning. Sort of at the beginning. Sort of in the middle. In the middle. Sort of at the end. At the end, like all throughout the video, some people just love to put their promotions up like if it's the main factor of a video. No. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>